We spend more time on our phones today than we ever have in history. So today I wanted to go over my digital minimalist phone setup to show how I'm using technology instead of letting technology use me and some different tips that have legitimately added hours back to my life. Let's get into it. First off, let's talk about my phone. I'm using the One Plus Open. This is OnePlus's first foldable phone and it just launched. And OnePlus asked me to uh, test out the OnePlus Open and let you guys know how I feel about it. So I'll be doing that a little bit throughout this video. So this is actually the first uh, foldable phone that I have ever had and it actually did boost my productivity uh, quite a lot, which was kind of surprising for me. Since I got this, I really got into using my phone as a tool instead of having it be like a time suck and it actually uh, using me. So it's been really cool. Now, I don't like having a bulky phone, but this is actually uh, the exact same size pretty much as my last phone when it's folded. Uh, and it's actually a little bit lighter, which is interesting. I thought it would be like big and bulky, but it's pretty much the exact same size as the phone that I had before. It weighs just 239 grams, which is super light. It's also very thin when you do open it up, but it's like really uh, sturdy. It doesn't feel flimsy at all. Anyways, uh, that's my phone. We'll start off with the background. As you noticed, I don't have a background. It's just black. I don't have any pictures. I, I probably should, but again, I view this as a tool and I want this to be as unengaging for me as possible. I also have no notifications on right now, except for uh, my messenger, which is where I like uh, talk to my editors and stuff like that. I also have text messages coming through, but I don't really receive phone calls. Generally, everything's on silent. And if people need to get in touch with me, they do it other ways. I don't receive phone calls. I probably haven't taken one in a couple months. Just for me, it makes me a lot more productive. Another thing that you might notice as missing on this phone is social media. I have no social media on here. Uh, when I do use Instagram, which I do occasionally, you should follow me there. I download it, I post something, I check in with a couple friends, and then I get out of there, I uninstall it. Probably not the most efficient thing to do. Um, but again, I don't wanna spend too much time on social media. So to start off with, I have three different pages. I have uh, my main work page right here, and we'll go over all of these apps in a second. We have my utility page right here, and then we have fun entertainment and my financial apps on this one here, which I think you guys will find interesting. So make sure you stick around at the end. Let's start off with my work page. I made this widget right here for my calendar because honestly, uh, I didn't have this before. In fact, I used to have just a completely blank screen. It was extremely minimalist and every app that I would need to get to, I would have to like search the app up, but I decided to actually organize my phone and make it really productive because that was not efficient. So anyways, uh, I made this widget right here. So anytime uh, I have stuff going on, it's on there. As you can see, I don't really have a lot of stuff on my calendar, but I don't miss appointments anymore, which I used to do a lot. Then I have this link right here, which actually gets me into Notion. So if I have an idea in the middle of the night, which I have all the time or whenever, I just click on this button, write down the idea for the YouTube video. I tried living in a box for 30 days. I hit done and bam, that's in my notion. I'm not gonna try to live in a box for 30 days, but uh, you get the idea. I'm also thinking about putting Google up here, but I haven't decided yet. So anyways, uh, I have MailChimp for my weekly newsletter. If you're not subscribed to that, it's amazing, but I do some of my uh, MailChimp stuff here. I have my YouTube studios on right now. Uh, I don't usually have that installed on my phone, but uh, occasionally I do have to like check stuff and I can answer comments and stuff here. So. Uh, yeah, got my YouTube studio, got my note keeping. This is where uh, all my workouts are kept. Dude, can you actually see this? This is where I track all my workouts for the past really long time to kind of make progress. Um, there's probably a better way to do it, but this is what I do. My my lights app this is where I control my lights in my studio. I've got both my, my personal and work email. Notion if I need to get more in depth into it. This thing which is called Zen Space, which is actually really cool. So if you wanna like not work on your phone, you can open up a Zen Space, do like a minute, and then you can start it and now I cannot use my phone. It's a brick. It's literally uh, unusable. Nothing, nothing happens here. I can make emergency phone calls, but I actually like just bricked my phone. I actually do this a lot when I'm working. It just uh, really forces me to stay productive. And like, if you, if you really have a hard time with it, use Deep Zen. It's sick. It, really, it like saves me a lot of time to be honest. I have my messaging apps all together. I have WhatsApp, other people I talk to around the world, like my editors and other creators, they use WhatsApp. Not many people in the US use it. Everybody everywhere else does. I have Discord to talk to some people and then Slack, uh, which is where I kind of talk to my team. I've got everything organized in different uh, little channels there. At the bottom bar, I do have phone calls, texts, and camera. This phone actually has a sick camera. This camera is like actually insane for both video and pictures. It's kind of crazy. Look at that. So let's talk about multitasking. 
multitasking has been taken to like a whole nother level with this OnePlus Open. It's actually one of my favorite features about this phone. The taskbar allows me to switch between apps really easily something that's actually like uh, super helpful. I can also do kind of a little screen on screen thing here if I need to do that. Uh, so pretty much how I've been using this is if I'm in a meeting, I need to take notes or if I'm watching a video, I don't wanna take notes on that. If I'm reading an article and I wanna do references, like pretty much anytime you have to do two things at once, instead of switching back in between them, I can have them both open and still have plenty of room to totally be able to see both of them at the same time. It splits the screen into two just by dragging your fingers down. This phone also has something called Open Canvas, where you'll be able to see not one, not two, but three different apps all at the same time when this device is unfolded. This phone actually feels a lot more like a laptop than most of the other phones that I have used, which makes it feel, again, a lot more like a tool than a time suck. Let's talk about my second page here, which has uh, a couple of really important things that have like really changed my life. We'll start right here with Audible. Uh, I listen to a lot of books like you guys know. I'm listening to Alan Carr's How to Quit Smoking right now, even though I don't smoke, uh, but it's like how to break uh, different habits. So it's really interesting for me. I, I read weird stuff. I also have short form where I listen to reviews or read them about different subjects. Again, and just a bunch of book reviews, learning stuff. I have something called Daybook, which is uh, something I just started doing after uh, reading a book and that was to write down something that happened every single day to kind of keep a memory of that thing of like what's one story that you can tell from today you do that every day you remember your life a lot more I've been horrible at doing that but it's something that I really want to start so uh, I think I'll do a 30-day challenge on that I have something called pocket here so anytime I'm reading an article and I think it's a good uh, article for a video something I want to remember read it later I pocket it and I put it in here and I can go back to it later. Also, I have Spotify. Obviously, I have a clock. Right now, I'm waking up at 6 a.m. Generally, uh, that's at 5.30, but I've been traveling recently, so I made it a little bit later. I have Chrome. Again, I might move that to page one later. Uh, and I have Playbook, which like I'm reading the Diary of a CEO right now. And I've had a Kindle before, before it died. Uh, and this feels just like a Kindle. So I uh, took this with me on a trip recently, instead of taking a physical book with me, uh, and I loved reading this before bed. You just turn the page. Look at that, it's beautiful. Look at that. I had so much fun with this. I gotta go back to where it was. Anyways, up here I have Mint Mobile. That's what I use as a phone plan. I have white noise. We can have different white noise going on. Whenever we travel, we can have uh, different sounds because I always have white noise at night. Uh, I have scannable if there's PDFs. If I have uh, paper that I wanna get rid of, I will take a picture. I will scan it with scannable and get rid of it. And then I have mixing station, uh, which I use for uh, church because I do the live stream sound there. So actually, when I was reading this book, Meredith thought that it seemed super thin and she's like, don't break it because uh, it seems like it would break, right? Because it's so uh, thin looking, like, look at that, that's crazy. But it's actually really solid, really durable. I was also worried like anybody else that when you fold it, eventually you're gonna be able to see uh, a crease in there. I don't know what I just clicked on, but this was actually uh, test folded 400,000 times without like anything happening to the screen. So you can just like fold this thing like a billion times and it looks the exact same. They've also done test drops from 1.5 meters and temperature tested it at 50 degrees Celsius. So this is a, a very durable phone. It's gonna be good for like 10 years at 100 folds a day. This thing is not gonna wear out. Also just a side note, the battery on this is absolutely insane. I'm at 99% right now, I charged it like uh, maybe half an hour ago, but I've gone like two to three days on one charge and then when you do charge it, it honestly takes like 15 minutes or something like that. I'll show the charger how fast it actually charges it, which I don't know if it's the charger or the phone, but it's like by far the best battery and best charger I have ever felt in any phone ever by like a long shot. It's really good. By the way, if you guys do want to check out uh, the OnePlus Fold, there is a link down below. I grant I've really been enjoying it and you can check out uh, a ton more in detail on there. So there's a link below, check it out. But now we're moving on to the last and funnest page. Also, just look at that taskbar, it's great. We'll start off with my finance maps. I have Rocket Money for all my budgeting. Pretty much you just keep all your accounts in there and budget is for you. I have uh, Coinbase for some crypto that I have and then I have uh, Weeble, which is where I personally keep uh, all of my stocks and my Roth IRA and stuff like that. I have a messaging app, Fantasy Football. Uh, Superhuman was recommended to me by a friend, so I'm gonna be trying that. I have all my DoorDash, Uber, Delta Fly. It's pretty much all I use for travel. YouTube, if I get too addicted to YouTube, I uninstall it, but right now I've uh, kept it under control. It's really fun. 
I use Google Podcasts who just announced that they are getting rid of it next year. So I'm very sad about that, but that's what I've always used. And then I have Poe and Chatsmith, which are like AIs. It's pretty similar to ChatGBT. That's where I uh, kind of use that stuff. So actually with this being an Android, it has something called flex mode on the OnePlus Open, which allows you to take phone calls or watch uh, YouTube videos hands-free. You'll also be able to talk to family, friends, or even your colleagues throughout the day without tiring out your arms. So that's really cool. Again, if you want more details on this, check out the OnePlus with the link down below. I'll see you guys next week.